uh, Dot Two Figure Adventures here. And a review of all, all these TARDIS comparisons. This review number five. So let's get into it. So the first TARDIS we have <coughs> is the War Doctor's TARDIS, which I made. There will be a video on this. All of the things that I've made. And works pretty much exactly the same. It looks like the War Doctor put some scrapings into the side of it with a small pin and some screwdrivers and stuff. It's got the jet speak hole, the battery compartment in the back. I thought it would be cool to add 12 Doctor's little white compartment inside when you open the door you can faintly see this but that will be changed when you could switch this little switch on the bottom and watch the magic come to life So as you can see, um, you have the light, it was illuminating then, and it just stays off, and we've got, then when you open the doors, the lights up in there, as you can see, the police public call box sign lights up as well, and the windows, and in there it does too. So when you do this it makes an igniting sound effect and oh, um, as you can see at the top there but it's the light up there which lights up the hole on the inside and the floor which is um which is a deep red brownie colour and you got the backdrop in there it goes all the way around to the sides, like it should do. This door does open a little bit, but not too much. So, you can just see the dark inside there. With the just steady illuminated light on there. And you can tell when the light's illuminated because the floor shines. Okay, so that's this TARDIS. Let's move on to our second TARDIS. Okay, so the second TARDIS is the ninth and 10th Doctor's TARDIS. Uh, unfortunately, we can't show you uh, the lightings and stuff on this one. It does have lighting and all that, but we just couldn't get the back bit off because someone screwed the screw in a bit too hard. Now, uh, it's exactly the same TARDIS as that. It's just in its fine form. Um, so, yeah, this section, the door opens, both of them opens, and you can just about see in the, the TARDIS interior with some little pen lines that someone else drawed in there, and this bit pops open as well, with revealing the phone on the white panel. You can also see a bit of the backdrop through that bit too. This bit does light up. As you can see, there is lights at the top. I should say, there is lights at the top, but they're just not functional because there's no batteries in them. So that's the tenth Doctor's TARDIS. So that brings us on to the eleventh Doctor's Part One Sonic and. Let's, let's restart that. Now we move on to the TARDIS 1, version 1 of the 11th Doctor's TARDIS. As you can see, it's a deeper blue all the way around. Take the black windows with the frosted panes there. 
the white bits there. Smaller lantern and is actually smaller than the tent that was TARDIS, just by a bit. So when you open the doors, you have the nice backdrop. The phone also is on that. But it's a little bit darker than the tenth doctor's phone. So we're going to fire up the electrics in this now by the little switch on the bottom. Okay, so that powers it up. First of all, the landing sound. That does a newer sound sound effect. Um, the light has gone on the top of it. This is just sound effects. Landing. Uh, inside noise. And you've got the backdrop there. If you look around the corner you can see a bit of the TARDIS as well. You've got the speaker in the back. And that just goes on a loop. So that's that TARDIS. Let's move on to the next one. So this is the Lemon Doctor's TARDIS part one, well part two, version two, part one version one, part one version two. Uh, no electronics for some random reason, character options decided to, so it looked, so as you can see, it's pretty good, got the white windows obviously with the two still frosted. And the interior and phone is exactly the same on this one. We didn't want to go too long on this one, so. So that's it for this one, round floor. And let's move on to the next one. Now we have this mess of a thing that I've failed to put back together with the ridges too high, but this is my custom um, 11th Doctor 5 inch TARDIS version 2 P1 so as you can see the springs on the doors are broken so bear with me you've got the I managed to go um, yeah so you've got that which is you can see in there the phone <laughs> I, w I managed to go onto Google Maps and get a, a TARDIS photo from there. Google Maps. It's not that clear. That's the other one's hair. That's my shamble of a creation. Now moving on to the mini TARDISes. So you've got this one, which is the part faulty door. I'll just have to keep my hand in there. You see? Actual TARDIS photo. Um, there we go. Uh, this one now does come with sound effects and lighting. But no lighting or sound effects for the inside which is 
and also the door piece does not open as you can see. They've got grey floor on it, so let's uh, switch it on. So let's drill. So switch it on. Lantern at the top illuminate. Hook down. Landing. Stop and it's illuminated there. And when you and then it just carries on illuminating on and up. So that's that one. To change the batteries, all you need to do is unscrew the little screw in the back by the speaker hole and remove this back panel. And you have three triple eight batteries, which you then move into the other TARDIS is your your choice, which is good if you then have many batteries. Once your batteries are in your TARDIS, all you gotta do, well, this other TARDIS, switch it on after I've gone through all the other stuff. So it's a lot lighter than the other TARDIS back there. But contains everything the same. The windows still frosted pieces at the bottom to there and there. A little bit of a squished please put the call box sound. And my own design on the inside. So that is the TARDIS. I got the backdrop from the video. Uh, from the trailer of the actual episode, so that's why it's a bit close. So, and uh, that was the best that I could do, really, from the new one. Anyway, it does feature light and sounds, and they will work. Going exactly the same light and sounds, so. Landing. Take off. And that's it. So you basically just do the same as the batteries. You unscrew the screw, take the thing off, take the batteries off, and put them in that one. But I'm not going to focus on that for too long because I already reviewed it. When screwing batteries in, it only takes a minute to do so. It's dead easy. Anyway, TARDIS. White windows, slightly darker, but then you've got the frosted windows as well. New intro in inner piece. Slightly closer than the Matt Smith one for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. So, turning on to the effects, exactly the same as the Matt Smith one, but for purposes I need to put it over them again. Starts up, illuminates the ball, landing, 